In this video, I would like to show you Amazon Textract, a high-level service that lets you extract text, forms, and tables from documents, either images or PDF files. Textract was launched at reInvent last year, and uh, we just announced improvements to the service. So I would like to use a few sample documents and show you how well it does. So let's start with the first document and I'm going to use this. So it's a research article. So, you know, pretty structured document, some graphics, tables, right? Different formats, two columns, etc., etc. So I'm using the uh, I'm using the AWS console here. Of course, you can also use AWS APIs. So either um, with the command line or, of course, in your favorite SDK. But I guess for a YouTube video, it's just <laughs> more appropriate to use the console. So you would just go to the console and you can upload documents and see results. So in the interest of time, I've already uploaded the document. It just takes a few seconds. So the document gets copied to an, an S3 bucket in the in the same region, and then it's processed. So we see that this article was nicely recognized by Textract. Okay, so we see we can get the raw text. Okay, for everything basically. So let's say we want to find. Okay, let me go back here. You know, okay, we can click on those uh, text boxes here and, and figure out, okay, where was that detected? Okay, and of course we can do the same here. Where's this sentence? Okay, so we can check that the text has been correctly processed. We can download results to, uh, to a JSON file. And of course, this is what the actual API call returns. If we look at forms, there are no forms in this document. And if we look at tables, we can see, of course, there was this large table here that's correctly detected. And of course, the important bit is not detecting the text only, it's detecting the structure, extracting the structure. So in the JSON document that the API returns, you get structure information on, on that table and other tables as well. Right? Uh, we can see all the tables that have been detected. So if you were par parsing that JSON file, uh, ingesting it in, in a backend for, for further processing, you would get the text and the structure. So, you know, rows, rows and columns. And that's super, super important. So it looks like we've done a, a pretty good job on this one, right? So now let's look at another one. So let's try maybe a little, something a little more difficult. So this is um, this is a, a financial document for uh, for an ETF, and you can see this one is less uh, structured than the previous one, right? You you have all kinds of text blocks, graphs, uh, text inside graphs, um, that column of text here. We have a, a table here, uh, you know. So it's uh, it's not I would say it's not a proper article. It's just blocks of text. And graphics. So let's see how we do here. So again, I uploaded this uh, previously. So if we take a quick look at the document, you know, we see every bit of text was correctly detected. Okay. So that that's all right. Okay, we can see the title here, etc. All right. So what about forms? So we can see this box on the right hand side was detected as a form because I suppose it doesn't have cells like a proper table would have. And in the case of forms, again, you would get that structure in the, in the JSON document and you would get key value um, information. So in this case, for example, the key would be fund launch date and the value, of course, would be uh, May 15th, 2000. Okay, so you can, uh, for each of those um, key value pairs, you have proper structure in uh, the JSON answer. Okay, 
So what about tables? Okay, so this was, I guess, an easy one. It does look like a table. It has proper cells and lines. And again, you know, we know exactly where each uh, bit of information sits and uh, on what row and what line and what column it actually lives. Okay, so that's super useful if you want to um, move that data, let's say, to, to a database. It's already structured. Okay, and let's try maybe a last one. And the last one would be a proper form, right? And uh, I just grabbed uh, a, a random form from uh, from the web, and uh, this is a health insurance claim form. And it's, you know, every company I suppose has to process forms, and these are, you know, they're structured. Of course, uh, every every cell has a proper name, and it's uh, expecting a value, or maybe some some cells you know, are optional and they stay blank. But there are, you know, it's kind of complicated as well because if you if you look at this bit here, right, you have multi-line text and you have those numbers that are probably confusing, and this is not really properly aligned. Okay, so well, that, that's a, not a super easy one, I think. So what did we do here? Okay, so again, you know, raw text is not an issue. Let's look at the forms. And it looks like we're doing okay, right? So here, you know, we find the patient's name. Okay, so again, that information is available in the JSON answer. So if you uh, if you were looking for the person's name, you would just look for the key called patient's name, and the value would be uh, Smith Bob, right? Uh, same for the address, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay, so all those tiny numbers, you know. Uh, haven't confused text tract. Uh, we can see the multi the multi line text was not a problem either. So it looks like we've done we've done all right, right? We've picked up uh, all those bits and pieces. Uh, this was not detected as a form. Maybe it was detected as a table. Let's check. Yeah, because again, you know, you have proper cells and, and rows and columns, and that means it's a table. Okay, and even though some of that data was not really aligned, um, and we have those uh, weird multi-column uh, descriptions, you know, spanning multiple columns, you know, we're doing okay. All right, so it looks like TextTrack did a really good job on those three examples. And, and again, you know, these are three pretty random examples. Uh, you can easily test this. Uh, you can just uh, log in to the uh, AWS console, go to TextTract. Uh, TextTract is available in all those regions here. And, uh, you know, and make up your own mind. All right. And last but not least, TextTract has just become PCI DSS certified. So if you need to process credit card numbers and whatnot, um, you can do it. Uh, I will include the link to uh, to the blog post in the video description. Well, that's it for today. Hope you liked it, and uh, I'll see you soon for another video. Bye-bye.